Now we present to you a little two-wheeled heritage. Though the sport is fast-paced, some of the glory it enjoys now is thanks to the passion of a significant few. Starting in 1913, a hundred years ago this year, what do you do on a Sunday when you're a poor farmer's son? Well, Flanders fields, beautiful, but not a lot to do, except maybe cycling. Flanders is ruled by cycling madness. Even the smallest village has its own cycling race. This brings us to Karel van Wijnendale. He loved to cycle the muddy and cobblestone roads, but soon discovered that he was a better writer than a sportsman. So he decided to combine his two passions into sport journalism. He founded in 1912 the first Flemish sport magazine, Sportwereld. After a year, Karel was looking for new ways to promote his magazine. Still passionate about cycling as a sport and with the example of the Tour de France in the back of his head, Karel decided to give the people of Flanders their very own tour. The Tour of Flanders. This is where it started. At the 13th of May in 1913, 37 participants registered at the Korenmarkt in Ghent. Of the 37 participants, only 16 reached the finish line. This could only be done by true Flandriens. And brave you had to be, because the route through the picturesque Flemish countryside wasn't exactly cycling for dummies. The roads, mostly used by horse and wagon, were in such a bad state that the French team pulled out of the race only last minute. Maybe they thought their bikes couldn't handle the Flemish cobblestones. After a hundred years, the Tour of Flanders really is the summit of cycling in Flanders and the people carry it in their hearts.